It is a perfect night for football here in Poland on Halloween night. The Division Four Region 13 Regional Semifinals here at halftime. Ursula leading Poland by a score of 28 to 7. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krasbinski back with you. Our halftime report is brought to you by the Mahoning County Career and Technical Center and Valley STEM Academy. Call for a tour today. Team numbers from the first half of play look this way. Ursuline with a big time advantage. 174 total yards. Poland had a tough time getting that ground attack going. It was a good start, however, for the Bulldogs. It started well with Jack Fulton getting things going, the very athletic quarterback, and Fulton making some things happen both through the air and also on the ground, completing this short-range pass for a first down, and then Fulton dumping it off. This one to Christian Colosimo. Colosimo rumbling his way deep into Ursuline territory, and Fulton would cap things off, calling his own number with the touchdown run. Quarterback comparisons look this way. Not a ton of passing to speak of. We knew these two teams certainly love to run the football, and both teams have done it well all season long. The big game in the first half on the ground came courtesy of Dante Walker from Ursuline, refusing to go down, and Walker powering his way in for the touchdown. He was far from done in the first half. Walker, a couple of stiff arms. He took this one deep into Poland territory, was rolled out of bounds. Not to worry, Walker takes this one himself in for the touchdown. Rushing numbers from the first half look this way. Walker averaging 8.5 yards per crack, 68 rushing yards. Christian Colosimo with a tough road to hoe, 16 yards in the first half. The Ursland defense and special teams coming up big. This led to a touchdown. Luke Campbell off the strip, and then on the final play of the second quarter, right before halftime, it's Demarcus McElroy coming up with the interception, and Ursland is in business with a 28-7 lead over Poland as we are all set for quarter number three. Glad you're with us here on this chilly night. Poland will open up things here in the third quarter, getting the football, but certainly a tough road to hold for the Bulldogs as a team trailing by three touchdowns and again with the way this Ursula defense has been playing and with the way they've been rushing the football it's going to be difficult but not impossible for Poland no question about it you know they were tested early in the playoffs they were down 21 nothing to Salem this is obviously a different team in Ursula but they're gonna have to get points on this drive and start to mix up their calls with run and pass. A short pooch kick high in the air. It is picked up. And Ursuline has created problems kicking off tonight. They've done a number of different things. Of course, Reardon set the ball kind of at an odd angle and kicked it. And Ursuline was able to recover. And they're just pooching that up there. And Poland doesn't seem to feel very comfortable. Returning, they want to take a second off the clock to 11:59, and that's a Dan Reardon special. You know, talking to him, he says, you know, he would put it on the table that he puts more time into special teams than a lot of teams across the area, and it's showing tonight. Scouted real well, and they execute well in that department. Poland will keep it to the ground. This is Jared Marucci. Loose football, and Ursland recovers. Another turnover, and that Ursuline defense is playing so well tonight. And a prime opportunity on the first offensive play. Irish have it, first and ten. They go to the jet sweep there, and Marucci coughs it up, and Michael Branch there for the Irish. Not what needed to happen there to start the second half for the Dogs. Perfect opportunity here to put a nail in this one if you're the Irish. Dan Reardon is so aggressive as a coach. We'll see if he goes for it all and goes for a touchdown here fresh off that turnover. You hear about it so many times but with that rushing attack and how good it's been, you don't need to. 
This is McElroy, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! 28-yard touchdown run! And Ursula and May have just delivered the knockout punch. So the first half, it was Dante Walker. Now it's DeMarcus McElroy making his way into zone six tonight. And that one has the Irish pumped up and taking a commanding lead here just after the opening kick of the second half. And there is a hush here in Poland as the Bulldogs are sort of shell-shocked with what's happened. Very uncharacteristic in terms of turning the football over. Pepelowski with the extra point. It's up and it is good. 11.44 left to play in the third. Ursuline 35, Poland 7. Wow! So the touchdown run by McElroy was set up by this. Ball was stripped free by Jekylin Irving. And it was recovered, as Brian said, by Michael Branch. And that's the sign of what good teams do. Defense leading to offense. You take advantage of your opportunities. And Ursuline has taken advantage of every opportunity here so far tonight and you can just see the body language as you look at the Poland sideline they are they're in shock with how this has played itself out after taking the seven nothing lead at the opening quarter no question about it and you know with everything that has transpired here tonight you know certainly not going the way they've drawn it up I certainly don't expect this team to quit they have a lot of good players, good coaches, and they're going to have to rally here to make this thing a game. Still a lot of time left here in the second half. We'll see what happens. Little squib kick, which will roll around and be pounced on by Poland. Michael Natoli falls on it. There's that aggressiveness from Dan Reardon, realizing that it's a 28-point game. The area's best football players are part of WKBN's Big 22, sponsored by ASECU and Ingram, Cassis, and Grimm. Head to WKBN.com and click on sports to see the top high school football players from here in the Valley. Poland trying to pick up the pieces now. Fulton will give. It's a run play up the middle. Berenger brought down by Dante Walker, who's been a monster all night long. No question about it. I mentioned it in the first half. you got to ID 21 and make sure that we're getting hats on him. As you see, he sits right in the box right here. He sheds a blocker there and is able to plant Behringer down, but not after five yards, so it's a good gain on first down there for the Dogs. From the 45-yard line, Behringer remains in the backfield. And Fulton will give to Berenger, and Berenger is again wrestled backwards by Walker and finished off by John Edmonds. The defensive front is doing a really good job of limiting Poland from getting up on the linebackers, and Walker and Edmonds have been roaming free all night and making big-time plays in the run game for the Irish defense. Thirty-five seven is our score. Third down and two. Poland must have this. Fulton fakes the handoff. He's under duress. Fulton sacked. Reared him from the backside. Brings him down. And the Irish getting contributions from up and down the roster. And Reardon plays from a safety position, so they had a blitz called, and Reardon comes off the edge, and he's a heck of an athlete and shows up there for the Irish defense. We talked to Reardon earlier in the week, such a smart football player, very cerebral, it's very clear. 
but he grew up a coach's son, knows where he needs to be as Colosimo punts this one away, angling it towards the far sideline and out of bounds. 9.33 left to play in the third quarter. It is Ursuline 35 and Poland 7. We'll take the time out back after this. Get your next versatile small SUV from Stadium GM in Salem. Haas Auto Group has been serving the Mahoney Valley for over 70 years. So if you're looking for a used car, I'm your guy. So for a big experience. What's my prices? Haas Auto Group. Combine Brothers has served traditional Italian favorites and hermitage for over 30 years. With endless pasta combinations and generous portions, it's time to remember the taste of homemade. At Combine Brothers, a mile from Route 80 in Hermitage. And welcome back. Irish with a quick snap, picked up six yards on first down, second down and four. Reardon is in at quarterback for the Irish. Reardon puts on a move, he's to the 40, and he dances out of bounds at the 44-yard line. So in a 35-7 game, Ursuline can move some folks around. Brady Shannon is still in. In fact, he's lined up as a wide receiver. And Reardon will toss. It's a counter play. Reardon with the block. Terrell Dilworth spun down at the 45-yard line. And it looks like he's going to be just a hair shy of the first down. And that was all Dilworth there as there was nothing to the left side. He just changed his field and got what he can get. Second and one. Dilworth. Takes the handoff, took a step back, stutter stepped his way down to the 41 yard line. A pickup of five and another Ursuline first down. So that was a really long mesh on that replay between Reardon in the back. And Pole had a chance to get him down, but he split the defenders quite well right there and was able to pick up the first down. From the 41-yard line, 35-7, Ursuline leading Poland. And Reardon will give it up the middle. Terrell Dilworth down to the 35, another gain of six. And another Ursuline touchdown here. We'll keep the clock rolling here in the second half. And you have Reardon in at quarterback. Of course, he has experience having played it throughout his high school career, being in Canton or here at Ursuline. And you give a potential opponent something else to think about. As the Irish push it inside the 35-yard line. And when you look at film, you say, okay, something else we have to consider because Brady Shannon is still in there. Yeah, this is a, a totally new look here for the Irish and obviously they had that saved in the back pocket for the second half and this is a totally unbalanced look and Matt Reardon handling the controls here for the Irish very bottom of your screen in the middle that is Brady Shannon the quarterback and I think he was a little too early on his takeoff there they're going to get him for a false start first, oh, they got it just first, prior to the penalty half. So timeout, Ursuline with 6.58 left to play. We'll take it as well. Irish up 35-7 on the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Get your next versatile small SUV from Stadium GM in Salem. Haas Auto Group has been serving the Mahoney Valley for over 70 years. So if you're looking for a used car, I'm your guy. So for a big experience... What's more prices? Haas Auto Group. Combine Brothers has served traditional Italian favorites and hermitage for over 30 years. With endless pasta combinations and generous portions, it's time to remember the taste of homemade. At Combine Brothers, a mile from Route 80 in Hermitage.
And welcome back to Dave Pavlansky Field in Poland. 6.58 to play in the third. Ursula 35, Poland 7. Reardon fakes the pass, gives to Dilworth from the back side, and Dilworth still working hard, but just unable to get anything happening. And that was a unique play there. It was a Statue of Liberty draw there. As he's going to pump to his receiver, he's got to put the ball right on his hip. Really neat ball handling there from Matt Reardon. But Poland did a great job. They were right on it and able to tackle the force fourth down right here. Fourth and two from the 33-yard line. Brady Shannon now back in at quarterback. Three wide receivers set. Dante Walker. Just to the left of Shannon. They fake the handoff. Shannon looking. End zone. Firing. And it is caught for a touchdown. Matt Reardon hauled in a 33-yard touchdown pass. But there is a penalty flag down. Did he push off? Or was he fouled? Let's see. Pass interference on the offense, number eight. 15 yards from the original spot. Remain or done. They call pass interference. You saw at the very beginning of that replay an outstretched arm. And so it's called against Reardon. It would have been a 33-yard touchdown pass. Let's see. I don't have a I don't see there. it. Yeah, I don't either. So it's fourth down and 17. Reardon back in there to punt it away. And the kick is away, a spiraling kick from Reardon. It'll hit and roll inside the 10 and be touched down at the nine. So first down and 10 for Poland. When we get back to it, WKBN's Big 22 includes the five blocks of granite. It honors the top high school football linemen in the Valley. It's sponsored by the Moransky Companies and Coca's Pizza. Head to WKBN.com and click on sports to see the top high school football players from here in the Valley. So five minutes and 52 seconds left in the third. All Ursulin 35-7 at the moment. They almost... Stuck it in for six more, if not for the offensive pass interference call. So Christian Colosimo is now operating out of the shotgun. Berenger is the running back. Colosimo to throw. Colosimo steps up. He will run. Pushes his way across the 10 to the 11 for a pickup of two. So the Irish defensive front in total pursuit there. They box Colosimo in and force him to step up in the pocket. Not something he's accustomed to doing. And you'll see forces him to take his eyes off his receivers and is corralled for a one-yard gain out of it. Second down and nine for Pollock. Poland came into this one having won seven straight. Seeking the first back-to-back -back region titles in school history. And the Ursula defense equal to the task again. Clogging things up for the Irish. Luke Campbell, among others. Campbell, of course, has the touchdown on the fumble recovery in the end zone. That time it was Jack Fulton taking the snap and same situation, same outcome there. And sometimes it's really hard to get a rhythm going when you're shuffling two quarterbacks in as they are doing right now. Barakovich checks back in. Third down and 11, rolling third quarter clock. Fulton to throw, 
Pumping once, will go up top, downfield for center, funny, incomplete. And it's fourth down and 11, and Poland will have to punt. If you're Poland, you want to throw your shot to Senefani on a non-predictable throwing down, and they gave him a shot on a stop and goal, and it was just overshot there. So they're going to have to give the ball back to this vaunted Irish offense. Brendan Gerd in punt formation. He's averaging better than 39 yards per punt. Ursuline is going to get good field position here. Twin return men back deep for the Irish. And Gerd gets away a high sailing kick over the head of Dilworth. He has it at the 48. And it'll be blown dead right there. 3.59 left to play in the third quarter. Ursuline 35, Poland 7. Of course, defense has been the theme and Ursuline has played a lot of good defense here ball squirts free and the Irish as they've done all night taking full advantage to Marcus McElroy off to the races and if Ursuline's able to stick it in for six more this end of the game is going to come much quicker Irish keep it to the ground and this is McElroy he's to the 50 Spinning free, loose football, and Poland may have it. Talking about that defensive theme, Poland football. McElroy scratching and clawing for some extra yardage. See who it was that punched that one out. Marakovic came through. Looks like Eichert may have been the one to recover. So give Poland credit, they're continuing to fight. Great job by Peyton Marakovic here as he comes in and gets right to the ball. And there's a scrum there. And Poland gets a big time turn of events there. Looked like Dean Gessler actually came out of that with the ball. Fulton will fake the handoff, looking to go deep, firing downfield for center. Pony off his fingertips and incomplete. He was open and had more than a couple steps on the defensive back. And this was a great play action pass here as Fulton throws an absolute dime to Senefani, and he's going to want that one back, that's for sure. Second down and 10 from the 47-yard line with 3.40 to play in the third. Berenger is the running back. Senefani is wide to the left. Fulton looking to throw again, trying to dump it off to Colasima, who is decked by Reardon, who sniffed it out as soon as the play started to develop. He was there to make the stop for a loss. Fulton trying to go to the throwback screen to Colosimo and Matt Reardon all over it, just like you said, Chad. And that's why he's going to go play on Saturdays next fall at Miami of Ohio. Loss of five, third down and 15. Poland just hasn't been able to get anything going in terms of a rhythm. On offense, Fulton will move the pocket. He rolls and throws on the run, and it's incomplete. And fourth and 15 upcoming. So the punt team, you think, would come back out? Looks like that's going to be the case. They try to hit Ross Dito up the sideline on a little trail route and it just wasn't there so Fulton throws it in his direction and it goes out of bounds it's a good decision on his part now Fulton is going to stay in there so perhaps they're not going to punt spoke too soon Colosimo though has punted and may do so again here as Fulton lines up wide to the right on fourth and 15 Colosimo it's the wobbly kick 
away. Reardon has it, 35-40. He's wrestled down at the 43-yard line. And it'll be first and 10 for Ursland with 238 left in the third quarter. Can't say enough about what this Ursland defense has done. The interception on the final play of the second quarter by Demarcus McElroy. Not to belabor the point, but they brought pressure from all over the place. They have noses for the football. A number of different guys trying to punch it out. And they're back to it on offense. This is Walker. Tries the left side, and he is stacked up and pushed backwards. They may give him a yard on the play. Bringing up second down and nine. Poland was able to clog the run lanes there and get Walker to the ground, which was much needed as the Irish have had their way in this second half, or for this whole game, rather, on the ground. From the 44-yard line, This is Brady Shannon keeping it himself. He just did get back to the line of scrimmage. Was immediately brought down by Jacob Cottle. who scored a touchdown in that win against Chagrin Falls last Saturday night. A little replay there and Cottle right on it along with Dom Parker. Outstanding defensive lineman for the Poland Bulldogs. Brady Shannon looking to throw, firing to the far sideline, and it's incomplete. And that one intended for Mark Manning. Manning was out of bounds. Yeah, it was a good location on the throw from Shannon, but Manning lost his wherewithal where he was on the field and caught that one in the white. So fourth down and nine, here is Reardon in to punt again. The snap is back and the punt is away. It's a good kick. Behringer lets it hit. And it's going to roll inside the 10-yard line and be touched down at the nine. One fifteen left in this one, and Poland will again try to get something going. The offensive side. Every week we pick a player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact during our WKBN Game of the Week. It's sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing. We'll feature the player of the game every Monday night at 6 on WKBN 27 First News. It has been all Ursuline since the Irish went down 7-0. They ratcheted things up. And they have put together a complete performance in all three phases of the game. Defense leading to offense and plenty of special teams contributions as well. Golden keeps it to the ground. It's Behringer up to the 18-yard line. And we talk about hidden yardage a lot on the broadcast and... Ursuline has definitely won the field position in this game, and that has swayed this game big time, too. Ursuline getting the ball at least twice in Poland territory in the first half, and it seems like Poland's playing on their own side of the field a lot here this game. 240 total yards for Ursuline. The run play goes to Poland's Jacob Cottle across the 20 to the 21-yard line. And that will be a Poland first down. So Jacob Cottle takes the off tackle play to the left, finds a little run room there, good cut. And he is cleaned up inside by Mr. Edmonds, who we call a whole lot tonight. First and 10 from the 21 yard line, inside of 20 seconds left. Bulldogs back to the ground. It's up ahead to the 28-yard line. And the football squirted free. And the officials will say that the ball carrier was down. And the final seconds will tick on down following the run from Behringer. Three quarters in the books. 
Ursula 35, Poland 7 on the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Check out the all-new GMC Sierra at Stadium GM in Salem. At Walden Management, we rent apartments, but we sell quality, privacy, and convenience. Quiet, comfort, and affordability are what you'll find in our studio, executive, and senior living apartments with convenient locations in Austintown, Columbiana, Newton Falls, and Niles. For nearly 40 years, Walden Management, providing independent living apartments that feel like home. Come be a good neighbor in our community of good neighbors. For more information, visit WaldenManagement.com. Wishing both teams the best of luck in tonight's game. Briar Hill Pizza and Wings, now delivering to Poland. Come grab a slice. Twelve minutes to play here in Poland. Ursuline with a 35-7 lead. Cuddle with the carry. Tried to pick up a first down, got a surge initially, up to the 30 for a pickup of a yard. It'll set up third down and one. So very manageable third down here for the dogs. And we'll see if they give Jack Fulton a pass run option here or if they like to continue to, to work between the tackles. We'll see what Ryan Williams has drawn up right here. From the 30-yard line, offset eye in the backfield, two receivers to the left. Fulton will give. Over the left side, it's up across. Football is loose. No signal just yet. The clock will continue to wind. They listed it fourth down, upcoming for Poland. Barringer. Had the football stripped free, and it looks like it was Colosimo. The ball spun right into his grasp, so it's a loss, setting up fourth and three. The Poland offense is going to stay out there, and now we'll see if Colosimo is going to punt this thing away in a 35-7 affair. From the 28, Colosimo. Has it, he kicks it away, reared in, races back. Fair catch made at the 41. 10.26 to play here in the fourth quarter. Ursuline 35, Poland seven. So we'll see if Dan Reardon at some point will call off the dogs and get some of the young folks some playoff experience. And those reps in these types of games underneath the lights are invaluable for a young player. So that's a good call. We'll see if they have any substitutions. Ursuline seemingly threw a 33-yard touchdown pass to Reardon, and that was offensive pass interference. Poland with a chance to go for the deep ball off the fingertips. Set of funny. Back to it. McElroy races ahead for another Ursuline first down. Remember, if Ursuline is able to score again, we'll go into that rolling clock in the fourth quarter here. McElroy gets the edge easily there, and Jeff Woslowski is able to run him out of bounds and Shannon gives up the middle. Irish starting to pick up more big chunks on first down. McElroy has been the workhorse. Of he had a masterful performance against Cardinal Mooney in that rivalry affair. He just picked up nine more yards, second down and one from the 36-yard line inside of 10 minutes left in the game. McElroy again, blasts his way for another first down inside the 25 and down to the 24-yard line of Poland. And it's interesting 
when you look at Ursuline's offense, it's like the first half they featured Dante Walker. And now the second half, Dante Walker's more of a, an H-back, and they're featuring McElroy. So it's quite interesting to see that transpire, and it's worked out to a T tonight. And it's nice to have that at your disposal that you can afford to do that. Thunder and lightning for Ursuline. And the give is to McElroy, who bounces off. He's to the 20 and cut down at the 18-yard line. As he bounced it off his teammates and to the outside, and was able to pick up a decent chunk of six on first down. Brady Shannon will give it to McElroy. Sweeping the right side, and McElroy falls forward to the 13. And let's give a lot of credit tonight to Isaac Lu Lucas, Colton Ross, Brian Frasco, who moved from right tackle to center for the Irish this year, Anthony DeLuca and Pedrag McCarthy. They're doing a great job tonight. Tip their cap to those guys, paving the way for this monster run game for the Irish. First and 10 from the 13-yard line, rolling fourth quarter, clock 840 and counting. And the give is to McElroy, and McElroy is down to the 10-yard line. Pickup of a couple. Second down and seven upcoming. McElroy remains in the backfield. Brady Shannon lost the football on the exchange, and Poland recovers. Pouncing on it for the Bulldogs, Dom Parker. Second turnover for Ursuline in the last several sequences. And Shannon not necessarily known as a runner. He's a better runner than people give him credit for, but he has the ability to scramble, but doesn't typically pick up yardage on designed runs, which is what that was, or at least an opportunity that he could run. And he coughed it up, and Poland is able to fall on it. Don Parker right on the spot there. We've mentioned him a lot tonight and throughout the season. He's going to be a heck of a ball player. He's just a junior. Fulton up the middle. Barreling ahead across the 15, out across the 20, out to the 21-yard line. And it's a Poland first down. And Luke Fulton is used to running a lot on teams throughout the quarter of the season, and he gets a design quarterback run here and that's his best run of the night and he takes a nice lick at the end of this came up a little bit gingerly back to the huddle and he's going to come off the field right now so Fulton heads to the sideline a little bit banged up and Colosimo checks back in Rakovic He's in the backfield as Colosimo fires incomplete for DeToro. And it's second down and 10. So Colosimo is now put into the quarter QB1 spot with the injury to Jack Fulton. And he's in a spot where he just doesn't have a lot of reps trying to operate the offense down the field here down big not what coach Ryan Williams wanted to see Rakovic to the right of Colosimo on second down and 10 from the 21 yard line Colosimo back to throw under duress he got drilled he fires downfield incomplete the intended target was to Toro and to Toro wasn't able to haul it in. Colosimo got hit off the edge. 
And it's third and ten. Colosimo back into the Bulldog huddle. And Colosimo just a junior too, so they've worked him into some different roles this year, and he definitely provides a spark for this offense. Four wide receivers set. Colosimo will keep it himself, trying to spin free, and he's brought down after a pickup of one, maybe two yards. And it'll be fourth down for the Bulldogs. So 18, Luke Campbell was all over that run there for the Irish as he had the big-time fumble recovery for a touchdown a little bit ago. You see him disengage his block and get right to Colosimo. That's good work by Luke Campbell. So fourth and nine. Colosimo expected to punt it away here, and he will. It's angled towards the near sideline and out of bounds into the scrum of Poland cheerleaders. 6.30 left to play, 35-7 in favor of Ursuline as the Irish will again get outstanding field position. That's been a theme here tonight. Defensive stops and special teams work, turnovers and the like have set the Irish up and Ursuline has taken full advantage without question you know they couldn't have drawn up a better plan tonight and you have to give it to the players they're the ones that go out and have to execute it didn't start out the way they wanted to and they're able to settle down and get things under control and they've, they've been in control ever since Irish will keep it to the ground again John Edmonds on a carry The winner of this game will play the winner of Lake Catholic and Northwest. Second down and seven for Ursuline from the 35-yard line. Three wide receivers set. Again, it is Edmonds trying the right side, and a flag comes flying in from the back side. And it's a hold against Ursuline. Holding on the offense, number 68. That is a spot foul, 10 yards, second down. So the Irish will move in reverse. And both head coaches have sons playing on the field tonight. Obviously, Matt Reardon for Ursuline and Nate Williams for the Poland Bulldogs. Both are seniors. Always a neat experience to have the opportunity to coach your own. And truly two class acts as the head coaches, Ryan Williams of Poland and Dan Reardon of Ursuline. 5.23 left, 35-7 Ursuline on the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Stadium GM in Salem carries the longest-lasting full-size pickups on the road. For the best pizza downtown, visit Avalon Downtown Pizzeria. Dine-in and take-out is available, and delivery is offered for local businesses. Visit our website for new store hours. Call to place your order. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria on Federal Street. Galt Heating and Cooling has had a strong family foundation for 65 years. We're here to help your family as if you were part of ours, with the best quality and service you could ask for. Go with Galt! What a night it has been for the Ursuline Irish. Ursuline with a 35-7 lead over Poland in the Division IV Region 13 Regional Semifinal. The winner gets the winner of Northwest and Lake Catholic next Saturday night. Second and 17 following the hold. Brady Shannon looking to throw. 
And he dumps it off to the right side. It's incomplete. He was looking deep for Reardon, streaking down the near sideline. You'll see his eyes. He looked for a second and then thought better of it. And had Demarcus McElroy as the outlet back out of the backfield to dump it off to, but it falls incomplete. Third and 17 from the 45. We're down to 516 left. Interesting to see that Ursuline is still throwing the ball. Brady Shannon looking to throw. He has time. He'll roll. And there's a flag down. It's going to be a hold. And it'll in all likelihood be declined. It is a hold against Ursuline. Holding on the offense, number six. That penalty is declined. We will have fourth down. So it is declined, fourth and 17, Ursuline will send out the punt group. Certainly an unconventional way to try to end this game, as you said, Chad. You hit it right on the nose, coming out and trying to throw the ball around the yard here. And Poland's going to get another crack at it on offense. But it's too much... Too late. Reardon in punt formation. And he gets it away, angling it towards the right side. Cottle is back deep. This one is going to roll and roll out of bounds. Poland pinned in deep when we come back to the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Get your next versatile small SUV from Stadium GM in Salem. Haas Auto Group has been serving the Mahoney Valley for over 70 years. So if you're looking for a used car, I'm your guy. So for a big experience. Bought some more prices. Haas Auto Group. Combine Brothers has served traditional Italian favorites and hermitage for over 30 years. With endless pasta combinations and generous portions, it's time to remember the taste of homemade. At Combine Brothers, a mile from Route 80 in Hermitage. First and ten for Poland from the two-yard line. But the Bulldogs will... Again, keep the ground attack in full force up across the five to the seven yard line. And at least the Bulldogs have some room with which to work now. Expect Coach Williams to keep this on the ground or give the quarterback a run pass option here so we'll see what he elects to do but like you said a little bit more room to operate with right here that Northwest Lake Catholic game is in the fourth quarter Lake Catholic with a 7-0 lead Colosimo dumps it off to the near side it's caught by Senefani and Senefani is going to lose yardage on the play So I'm not sure if this was going to be a double pass or if they're just trying to get it out in the hands of Senefani. But he looks to get yards, and he almost ran back into the end zone, which could have been catastrophic. Xavier Don there to make the stop for Ursuline. Third down and nine. The line of scrimmage is the three-yard line. Colosimo, three wide outs near side. Colosimo to throw. He'll fire for Senefani, and it is intercepted at the 35-yard line. Picked off by Mark Manning. And that will, if there was any doubt, seal the deal. As Ursuline will run this clock out and punch its ticket to the regional championship game. Colosimo takes a deep drop, and he tries to give Senefani a chance here, and it hangs in the air just a little too long. Matt Reardon times it perfectly and is able to come down with an INT for the Irish. 
Big interception by Mark Manning. With 3.21 left, the celebration can begin across the way on the Irish sideline. It looks like wholesale substitutions coming in. So Ursuline has called its final timeout, looking to make sure that all of the newcomers into the game are where they're supposed to be. Now turnovers, so important. Poland defensively forcing turnovers here, but Ursuline has been doing it the entire night. Poland was able to recover that one. And then Shannon coughed it up. It appears that C.J. Frasco is in at quarterback. John Edmonds is the running back. First and 10 from the 35 to give this to Edmonds. And Edmonds puts his head down. He's stacked up and brought down inside the 35 at the 34-yard line. Very short pickup. In fact, they'll give him forward progress to the 33. As we're now inside of three minutes left. C.J. Frasco, the younger brother of center Brian Frasco. This is Christian Lynch sweeping the right side. And there is a flag down. And it is a hold against Ursuline. Holding on the offense, number 75, spot foul, 10 yards, second down. Joe Carlini called for the hold, and so the Irish move in reverse. Talk about being able to get young players into these type of ball games. C.J. Frasco, just a freshman, so he's got a long way to go. But I'm sure he's enjoying timeout on the field right now. Frasco takes the snap, and he gives it up the middle to Christian Lynch again. And this Bulldog team is predominantly young. There's a lot of good players that are juniors, and obviously Kincaid Marakovic will graduate, but Senefani will also graduate, but there's a lot of guys coming back, so they're going to retool, and, and they'll be right in the thick of things come next year. There's no question. Poland had won 17 of its last 19 games holding the opponents to single digits in 13 of those contests. But tonight, they ran into a juggernaut in Ursuline Lynch. Over the right side on third down is tackled. So we're down inside the final 90 seconds. So you can imagine the Irish will just let this play clock wind all the way down. Ursuline coming in. What a turnaround it has been under Dan Reardon returning just now in his second season since coming back. High snap. And the punt is away. And it hits and rolls into the end zone with 50 seconds left. <laughs> So first down and 10, it's all about a formality now. As Poland will end the season with seven wins and two losses, Ursuline's record will improve to that exact same mark of seven and two. And Ursuline will soon officially punch its ticket to the regional final. 
again. Ursuline will get the winner of Lake Catholic and Northwest. Northwest trailing late in the fourth quarter, 7-0 to Lake Catholic. So an upset brewing there. Bulldogs to the ground, Cottle across the 30 to the 31-yard line. Reset the chains and wind it down. Congratulations to Poland on a great season. Certainly the very best of luck to Dan Reardon and the Ursuline Irish. One week from tonight, Cottle tried to break free, but he was knocked backwards by Connor Heater. So just like you said, congrats to both teams. And Ursuline looking to play for the regional title. And we know Poland won the regional title last year. And right on pace for Dan Rear comes back in the second stint. In year two, he has the Irish playing for regional title. Final seconds tick on down. And the final score, Ursuline 35, Poland 7. Ursuline has clinched its 10th regional championship in program history. We'll visit with our player of the game after this. You're watching the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Arrive in style with the Cadillac XT5 at Stadium GM in Salem. The Red Tag Sale is back at the Stadium GM Used Car Superstore. And that means you could save thousands. Just log on to StadiumGM.com to see all of our great used car, truck, and SUV inventory. Then take the short drive to get the lowest used prices anywhere. Cars from $99 a month, SUVs from $149 a month, and tough trucks from just $169 a month. All with zero down. And if you have bad credit, we can help you get the financing you deserve. All at the store where zero down delivers every day. The Stadium GM Used Car Superstore in Salem. Abisher's Jewelry has been serving the Valley for over 90 years. Our passion for fine diamonds and gemstones has not wavered since my great-grandfather started our business in 1928. Our desire has been and always will be to uphold our family tradition of excellence in both the quality of our pieces and service. Abisher's Jewelry, trusted jewelers since 1928. Make every event truly special with Fusillo Catering, your full-service caterer for all occasions. The professional staff featuring Chef Mark Fusillo is your all-occasion caterer for weddings, banquets, showers, seminars, bereavements, and graduations. Serving the newly remodeled Mount Carmel with an expanded indoor space that leads out to a scenic outdoor patio, plus Stampa Auditorium, St. Michael's Palermo Center, and more. You can bring your own liquor, beer, and wine. Call Fusillo Catering now to plan your event. The 18th annual Ursuline Auction will be virtual on Friday, November 6th, beginning at 8 p.m. There is no reservation fee. Sign up now at bidpal.net forward slash Ursuline Auction 20. Hi, I'm Frank Clinton with Howard Hanna Real Estate Services. It's a great time to sell your home. Give me a call. Let's get another one sold. Bam! Frank sold another one. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. If there's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. One, two, three, four, five. Is this good? Okay. Is that good?
And welcome back to Poland, where tonight it was Ursuline rolling past Poland by a final score of 35 to 7 in the Division 4 Region 13 Regional Semifinal. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski back with you. It's time to select our player of the game. Our player of the game is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing. Dante Walker, two rushing touchdowns, huge defensive performance as well. He joins us now. Dante, congratulations on a great performance and a great win here tonight. What's the emotion knowing that you're moving on to the regional final? The emotion's very great. Um, we just wanted to show, like, the whole city that we can play physical football and that Ursuline's back. What was the difference? Turnovers and that defensive pressure that you guys brought to the field all night long was something that really stood out. What was the difference when this one was all said and done? Um, I think the difference was that we played with a chip on our shoulder. Like, everyone had us counted out. Everyone thought Poland was the better team in this fight, and we just had to come and play. Tell me about your performance. You run with such strength and such violence when you get the ball carrying defenders with you. Assess what you do every time the ball is in your hands. Every time the ball's in my hands, I just want to make plays for my team and just run as hard as I can, not let one guy tackle me. Well, I've got some breaking news for you here because we now know your opponent for next week, and it's not who maybe you thought. Lake Catholic has upset Northwest, so that means Ursuline will be playing at home against Lake Catholic next Saturday night. What's your emotion knowing that you're going to be playing at home again? My emotion's very high. We love playing at YSU. We just have to have a great week of practice and come prepared because what? Mentor Lake is a good team. Last thing, how motivated is this group knowing that that goal that you set at the very beginning is within reach? Um, we're very motivated. We talk about it every day at practice. We get a break to it every day at practice, and we just want to keep going harder and harder and harder. Congratulations on a great performance and a great win. Best of luck next week, Dante. Thank you. That's our player of the game, Dante Walker. Two rushing touchdowns as Ursuline rolls past Poland in the Division IV Regional Semifinals, 35-7. to We'll wrap it up when we come back on the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Arrive in style with the Cadillac XT5 at Stadium GM in Salem. At Axio Fitness, your entire experience is personal. We are not a gym. Every workout takes place in your very own, private, fully equipped training room. There's no sharing equipment, no audience, or no crowds to be concerned about. Not only will you have a trainer guiding you through your personalized workout, but they will be wearing a mask and disinfecting every piece of equipment before and after you use it. At Axio Fitness, your experience will be safe, productive, and fun. So come be our next success story. Make every event truly special with Fusillo Catering, your full-service caterer for all occasions. The professional staff featuring Chef Mark Fusillo is your all-occasion caterer for weddings, banquets, showers, seminars, bereavements, and graduations. Serving the newly remodeled Mount Carmel with an expanded indoor space that leads out to a scenic outdoor patio, plus Stampa Auditorium, St. Michael's Palermo Center, and more. You can bring your own liquor, beer, and wine. Call Fusillo Catering now to plan your event. Three information nights for prospective parents will be held on November 12th, 17th, and 19th at 6.30 p.m. in the Ursuline Auditorium. There is a $500 tuition grant drawing. Learn why Ursuline is the best choice for your child. Sign up at Ursuline.com slash PPN. Hi, I'm Frank Clinton with Howard Hanna Real Estate Services. It's a great time to sell your home. Give me a call. Let's get another one sold. Bam! Frank sold another one. The Moransky Companies are proud sponsors of the Five Blocks of Granite and salute all area high school athletes throughout the year. And welcome back to Poland, where Ursuline has rolled past Poland 35-7 in the Division IV Region 13 semifinals. Chad Krispinski back with you. With the win, Ursuline improves to 7-2. and two. Poland ends the campaign with a record of 7-2. and two. And it is Ursuline set to face Lake Catholic next Saturday night at 7 o'clock following an upset win over Northwest. So we hope you've enjoyed this presentation of the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. For all of us at WKBN, my name is Chad Krispinski telling you once again the final score, Ursuline 35 
Poland 7. Till next time, so long everybody from Poland.